Hello everyone. How are you going? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about the different types of computer networks. Before we get into the types of networks, it's really important to understand what is a computer network. It's a connection between two or more network devices such as computers, routers and switches to share data, resources and applications. Now let's look into the types of networks. The very first network type is PAN. PAN stands for Personal Area Network. It is the most basic type of networks. PAN is typically centered around a single person in a particular location to connect devices such as mobile phones, laptops and tablets. These devices connect to each other by wireless technologies like Bluetooth, infrared and near field communication. They can also be connected by using a USB cables. PAN is used to transfer small files like music, pictures, etc. Keep in mind, PAN offers only a short range solution up to 10 meters, restricted to a small area. It is also important to note that PANs are relatively secure and safe. Now the next network type is LAN. LAN stands for Local Area Network. It is the most frequently used network. LAN is designed to connect multiple network devices such as computers, servers, printers and switches within a limited area such as residence, school, university campus or office building. LAN is widely useful network for sharing resources such as files, printers and applications. The simplest type of LAN is an Ethernet where devices are connected to Ethernet cable by using a switch. Ethernet cable provides fast, reliable data transmission speeds between devices and also provides higher security. One of the most important reasons for setting up a LAN is that data is stored in a centralized location that all connected devices can access. Devices must receive permission to access the network preventing unauthorized users from accessing sensitive data. Now what is wireless local area network? It is basically a local area network that helps you connect multiple devices using wireless communication such as Wi-Fi router or wireless access point instead of wired communication within a limited area like home, school or office. Wireless LAN gives you an ability to move around within a local coverage area which may be connected to the network. Today most modern days WLAN systems are based on IEEE 802.11 standards. Now let's move on to the next network type which is a CAN. CAN stands for Campus Area Network. CAN is built up by interconnecting two or more LANs together within a specific geographical area. For example, a university campus can be linked with a variety of campus buildings to connect all the departments. Now let's get down to the next type of computer networks, MAN. MAN stands for Metropolitan Area Network. It is consisting of a computer network across an entire city or a small town. This type of network is larger than a LAN, which is mostly limited to a single building. Depending upon the type of configuration, this type of network allows you to cover an area from 5 to 50 km range. Mains are usually connected using a high speed carriers such as optical fiber cables. It's a high speed network that offers the ability for sharing data and resources within a city. Most commonly used protocols in MAN are frame relay, ATM, ADSL and so on. MAN is used in banks, airlines and military. Now the next network type is WAN. WAN stands for Wide Area Network. As the name suggests, Wide Area Network is a network that covers a large geographical area such as states, countries or the entire world. The most common example of Wide Area Network is the Internet. For example, an organization with a corporate office in New York can connect to a branch located in London. Users in both locations can access the same data, files and applications. 
Remember, wide area network is not limited to a single location. It spans over a large geographical area through telephone lines, fiber optic cables or satellite links. When is the most expensive type of computer network configuration and also difficult to maintain because of wide coverage and the use of different technologies. Okay, now let's move on to the next type of network, SAN. SAN stands for Storage Area Network. It's a type of network that makes high performance storage resources available to many users. In simple words, it's a dedicated network for storing data consisting of multiple servers, switches and disk arrays. Technically, SAN is a high speed network that stores and gives access to big amounts of data. One of the major reasons for using a SAN, it's not affected by a network traffic. The most important thing to remember is that this network does not depend on LAN. It's a network all by itself. Now what is EPN? Enterprise Private Network. EPN is designed for businesses to securely connect all the computers from multiple locations to transfer data and resources. This type of network is only accessible from within the enterprise. Now the next type of network is VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It's a private network that uses a public network to connect remote sites or users together over a secure network connection. Basically, VPN creates a secure tunnel through the internet that increases the privacy and security. VPN allows users to send and receive data as if their devices are directly connected to the private network, even if they are not. VPN uses data encryption techniques to secure data transmission. It is often used by organizations that cannot afford their own infrastructure for connectivity between two sites over long distances. Finally, the last type of network, Home Area Network. A home area network is built by interconnecting two or more computers within a home. Home area network typically forms a local area network that allows the owner to communicate between multiple devices. Home area network helps for sharing files, programs and printers within a home. This type of network is useful for homes having more than one device. Alright, so this was all about the types of computer networks. For more information on wireless local area network and virtual private network, you should watch my older videos. You can find the link below in description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.